my way home. Oh, on my way home. You can just breathe on me. Holy Spirit, all I know is what I hear. I think I wanna know more. Come whisper in my ear. They say your power's so strong, it'll make you live right. It's been a battle for me. But I know it's not my fight I'm wanting to know Can we live holy? Is there examples down here? Can anybody show me? What do you do? When you've done all you can Seems like it's never enough What do you say? When your friends turn away and you are alone. Praise the Lord. I'm the Bishop Leighton Gordon, and I'm about to introduce the sermon that you will be hearing today. It is entitled, Be Ye Holy. Can I tell you of a truth? God never told us to be Catholic, Methodist, Pentecostal, or any of those things. But what he did say was, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Check out the word for yourself today. And after the word, I will return to you with some information. Be blessed in God's precious holy name. Amen. Amen. Well, we're going to get into our reason for being here and the theme and the scripture. Let us read. Is it Revelations 22, 12, and 13? Amen. Let us read that. It says in Revelation 22, 12, and 13, it says, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Somebody say living in the end times. Come on, say it again. Living in the end times. One more time for the Holy Ghost. Living in the end times. If you would, uh, there was another scripture that came to my heart. It was in the book of Ephesians, and I'll read it for you. Ephesians 1 and 3, and, and a few more on down says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who have blessed us with all, somebody say all, all. spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Somebody say, in Christ. According he, as he hath chosen us. Somebody say, I've been chosen. In him before the foundation of the world. Oh, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself. According to the good pleasure of his will. To the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us, somebody say us, accepted in the beloved, seventh verse, and it says, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Somebody ought to say amen. We're speaking this evening and living in the end times. How many know that we're in the end times? So much is going on. I mean, earthquake after earthquake, disaster after disaster, fires over in California, police brutality, oh my God. Beating people, killing them. In this world, we're living in the end times. Somebody said living in the end times. But I'm here to tell you uh, that, 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 that if we seek the Lord, somebody say seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. I'm seeking, watch this, uh, I know they said that an apple a day will keep the who? Right. <laughs> right. 
But I know a scriptural day will keep the favor of God with you. Anybody heard what I said? Right, right. Is anybody seeking God? See, God said, David said, Oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsted for thee. My flesh longed for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. In a certain scripture, he said that he laughs like a dog, <laughs> pants like a dog for the glory and the coming of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm talking to you this evening about your destiny living in these last and evil days. Amen. Amen. We got a destiny. Point to somebody and say, we got a destiny. We got a destiny. But your destiny is not about your career. No. We have put that before our first call. Amen. If you remember, God called us to be holy in Christ. I wish I had some help of it here. Hey, come on, See, for the love of money is the root of all evil. Now, it may be what you do, but it's not who you are. Before you were called to a career, God called you to be holy. 1 Peter 1 and 15 says that for the one who has called you is holy, so be ye holy. I wish I had somebody up in here. God has to see you spiritually. Watch this. Your beginning was holy and your end should be holy. We said he is the beginning and the end. He's the alpha and the omega. Watch this. Watch this. God has to see you spiritually as he created you in the beginning. When he created you in Christ, your first calling is a holy calling. Let's get first things first. <laughs> your first assignment is to be like Jesus. I wish I had somebody. Every spiritual blessing is in Christ. Man can give you what God can. I wish I had somebody. God called us from eternity. Before you even was formed in your mother's womb. The word of God you read said before the foundation of the world was made. He wanted us to be holy. No wonder the enemy pressures you so much because before you learn the word, he don't want you to learn the word. He don't want you to seek God's word daily because if you found out that we already have what we need to overcome the adversary, anybody getting this but me, uh, we will not even worry about a devil. <laughs> he won't. We won't worry about, we won't be worried about how I'm going to pay this people and how I'm going to make in meet, how I'm going to pay the water, the cable, the lights. Oh, Lord, have mercy. The car note, the house note. We wouldn't worry about this if we were in Christ. The Bible says no weapon formed. I wish I had somebody up in here. If we are in Christ, no weapon formed shall prosper. Oh, I wish I had somebody. Everything that I put in him, God said. Everything that I put in him, I put in you. We already got it. Oh, I wish I had somebody. He said, I'm going to complete you before the beginning, before the work even gets started. Somebody say, it's already been completed. Touch your name and says, I've already been completed. <laughs> God says, I called you to be holy. <laughs> God didn't call you to be a liar. God didn't call you to be a homosexual. God didn't call you to be a, a lesbian. God didn't call you to be a devil. Oh, uh, can I say what I really feel like what's on my heart tonight? Uh, only give me about 10 minutes. I'm not going to be long. Uh, but, 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 but every time uh, I 
I turn on the television, I can't watch any show without seeing homosexuality or lesbian. Oh, can I tell you something is here? The very spirit of homosexuality is the Lord my God epitome of narcissism. I wish I had somebody. Narcissism is the love or the sexual desire of one's own self. Anybody know what I'm talking about? That's the very spirit of the devil. Did not the devil say that I would be like God? It is rooted in Lucifer. He said, I will arise above God. I will be. He said, ain't nobody bad as me. This is what the devil said. That's the spirit that he throws off. And watch this. He said that he was so good that he wouldn't even submit to God. Yeah, mm, ain't nobody good as me. That's the spirit of lesbianism and homosexuality. Why? Because if all I want is me, <laughs> anybody hear that? Too? If all I want is me and nobody pleases me but me, uh, when I look at something the opposite of me, uh, I don't like it. I wish I had somebody. But if I look at something that looks like me, I wish I somebody caught that in this place, uh, then I would desire it. The very epitome. Yeah. All right, all right. Oh, Lord, my God. Of narcissism rooted in Lucifer himself. Um, but you desire, and your desire is to be uh, for the opposite sex. Anybody hearing me in this place? Watch this, watch this. When Eve sinned in the garden, he told her that her desire would not be for another woman. He said it would be for your husband. I wish I had somebody up in here. Are you hearing me? Am I in the right church tonight? God said, when I created you, I didn't create you to love you. I wish I had somebody. Because I didn't put all of you in you. When he laid Adam down to sleep, and watch this, when Adam turned around and he saw, whoa, man. He said, whoa, God did this. God pulled all of her emotions. God pulled all of her feelings out of Adam. And put it into her. Oh, I wish I had somebody up in here. He pulled her feelings out, and everything that was in her was now in him. I wish I had somebody. He said, Now you can no longer be whole without her. Man, you can no longer be whole without woman. Woman, you can no longer be whole without man. like a song I used to sing back in the day But now that I've changed my life over to the Lord I think I got some cleaning up in it I know I do Why don't you help me say mm. I gotta clean up mm, What I messed up I've started my life over again Help me say I gotta clean up mm, what I messed up. Yes, I do. Started my life over again. Listen, listen, listen. I made up in my mind I'm not cheating no more. Cause a liar and a cheater can't make it through the door. I gotta clean up mm, what I messed up. Oh, yeah. I started my life.
somebody that don't have what you have to complete you in God. Hey, come on now. Praise God. Y'all don't want me to preach up in here. Praise God. God didn't create you to go against his will. The Bible said that he created us in love and before the foundation of the world was made in Christ Jesus. Jesus said, if you love me, you would keep my commandments. Well, in the Old Testament, a commandment of his said that if a man lie with another man, that they should take him out in the field and kill him. I was right somebody. If a man lies with a beast, if a woman lies with a beast, to take him out and kill him. You saw what he did with Solomon and Gomorrah. But in this day and time, they tried to make it so acceptable that every channel I turn it on, I, oh my God, it's just so common now. But the Bible already spoke about it when he said, unto this untoward generation, if we love God, we would keep his commandments. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, spare not the rod from the child, for if you whip him, can I say it my way, if you beat him, you won't kill him. So you know what that tells me? You can beat the hell out of them. Anybody catch that? Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm talking about the hell on the inside. Little hell raises. I wish I had somebody. So if we can do that, then I know that the Bible says that love covers a multitude of sins. And we are able to love the hell out of them. Anybody hear me? I know some people may have been touched in the wrong places when they were young. I understand how this world is. Uh, uh, uncles and uh, other people may have to dumb them wrong, but God.